Two Swedish nationals have been shot dead and a third person injured in Brussels in an attack which prosecutors are treating as terrorism. Brussels is on its highest terror alert as the gunman, who appeared to have an assault rifle, remains at large. In Europe, Belgium's Euro 2024 qualifier against Sweden was suspended at halftime and subsequently abandoned. The incident comes just a day after a six-year-old Palestinian-American was stabbed to death in Chicago. Prosecutors in Belgium are investigating whether the Brussels attack was motivated by the Chicago incident and whether it was a revenge attack. With two motivated by Israel-Hamas war attacks within 24 hours, the European Union leaders are now scheduled to hold an emergency summit on Tuesday. As concerns mount that the war between Israel and the Hamas militant group could fuel intercommunal tensions in Europe and even bring more refugees in search of sanctuary. Meanwhile, it's not just Belgium facing a hate crime attack in Europe. Over the last week, France has ordered a ban on pro-Palestinian demonstrations and a number of anti-Semitic acts have risen. In Paris, the Louvre Museum and the Palace of Versailles evacuated visitors and staff after receiving bomb threats over the weekend and the French government started deploying 7,000 troops to increase security around the country following a fatal school stabbing by a suspected Islamic extremist. Germany too has ramped up security to protect its Jewish communities. Berlin on the other hand has offered military help to Israel and its promise to crack down on support for Hamas at home. Moving on, following the attack in Belgium, several metro stations in Brussels were shut down. The president of the European Commission, which is based in Brussels, was quick to condemn the attack and also offer support. French President Emmanuel Macron said Europe was shaken by an Islamist attack in Brussels. While France's interior minister had earlier given instructions to strengthen border controls with Belgium. Belgium, alongside France, had already been the target of an attack claimed by ISIS extremists in March 2016, which killed 32 people.